Hi, I'm Shark Whitebeard here at Shark's Tavern and uh, making another video here. What I'm gonna, what this video is about is back in the day, man, we had such good times, we had great times back when we were part of a pirate crew, back in uh, most of the group. Uh, most of them were from Sacramento area and the other part were mostly from around the Reno area. And we're a little north of there in Northern California, a little bit north of there. But me and the wife joined the crew, and they were such, such good folks and such a great group of people. And then there was a falling out, and there was like a mutiny, and the crew kind of broke up. But we had some of the best times we ever had. One of the things that was so cool is we'd set up our encampment. It was, very, it was like a living museum, and we set it up. And the captain, would uh, he'd be in charge, of course, and we'd set up everything. And we had a really um, authentic pirate camp encampment. And then 90%, I'd have to say 90% of our interactment with the, with the public, people coming by, was a thing called the pillory. And it was a pillory where one of our, our great, one of the really cool, uh, good crew members had built that. It was, really, uh, uh, it was really thickly built, really realistic. And what it was, it was like a thing where you stick your head, you stick your hand, and you stick your head, and they put the thing all over their head, like, in the, like you see them like in the pilgrim days or something. And they, they lock them in the pillory like that and they can't get out. So we had the pillory out in front of our camp. And people would come by and we'd talk to them. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you want to get in the pillory and take a picture? And some guys would be there with their wife and kids or whatever. And some of the kids wanted to, get in, in, wanted to take a picture with their head in the pillory and their hands locked up like that. And we would put a, uh, like a box. We had like a wooden box to step up for the little kids to get up there. And they'd get in there and stick their head in there and we'd take pictures of them. And... What we would always do is you get some people in there, and the pillory was basically that's where they put the, the person before they sentenced them. That wasn't their punishment. That wasn't that wasn't their sentence. That was just to put them in there to keep them there until um, they're ready to get sentenced to what their, their punishment was going to be. So if he would come by, and then we'd usually get like a wife and kids and the husband, and the husband would go, yeah, okay, and he'd get in the pillory, and he'd be like this, and it'd be on his head, and he couldn't get out. And then we take they take pictures of them and stuff. We'd be like pirates, and um, we'd be standing around them, and we'd have like these these guns, and we'd like point it at his head, and have, like these these blades and stuff, and act like we're cutting his throat or killing him or stuff. And they take pretty cool pictures of them. And then we'd say, and then we'd also we'd always say, oh, to the wife and kids, you guys want to go have lunch or something? Come back in a few hours. This guy'll still be here. He's not going anywhere. And they'd always laugh, say, yeah, yeah, you know, and they'd be, hey. And some of the guys would get in there and say, yeah, this ain't bad, this ain't bad, it doesn't feel too bad. And some people would get in the pillory and say, man, this is, this is torture, man, just standing like this with your head like that. And, man, that must have been pretty much like hell doing that. One of the things that someone told us was that your actual real flintlock pistols are real guns. And some of the groups were like black powder dudes that were really into it, like, like, this, like my black powder gun. This thing's real. This is a real gun. This can shoot. This can shoot a projectile. So they didn't want you, like people would come by and they say, I want to take a picture like pointing the gun at someone. And they say, it's a real gun. You don't ever point it at someone, whether it's loaded or not. You always pretend like it's real. And they really be sticklers on that. They said, no, we don't want you doing that. So and to keep everyone like cool and everything, and no one jump in and get in our face saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. So what we did was we bought these other, these are guns. These are like, these are, they look really realistic and they're really cool guns, but they're not real. They can't be fire gate, the hammer works and stuff like that. And we have different guns like this. So we used to have these. See, they shoot the, the hammer works and stuff. And we'd have those around so when people, people took pictures of them, you know, we'd point the guns. And if anyone got in there, you know, point the guns at their head or point the guns at the camera like they're going to shoot someone. And then some of the black powder guys who were kind of sticklers would say, hey, those, you know, those are real guns. We'd say, well, no, they're not real. They're just toy guns. They can't kill anybody can't shoot nobody with them, so they kind of back off. So we used to do that. I remember one incident where this little kid runs up and he grabs one of these, one of our toy guns, and he's just running around, and he's just cocking it, shooting it, cocking it, shooting it, and running around. He takes off running, and his father goes and grabs him. I said, hey, that's not yours. And he grabs a gun from him, and the father grabs him, gets down on his knees with his little kid. He says, hey, that's not go put it back. And he pulls it back, and he starts shooting. Oh, hey, man, this is pretty cool. And he starts cocking it and shooting it. And, uh, <clears throat> having a really good time with it. So we got all these 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 really realistic looking guns. 
that look real, but they're not real. So we used to keep these as props so that people wouldn't get all bent out of shape. And then, of course, the LARP weapons that are rubber, you can't hurt nobody and act like you're cutting someone's throat or something. Um, the one thing, if someone was brave enough to get in the pillory, and especially the little kids, after they got in the pillory, I'd give them usually a coin, a pirate coin, one of these metal coins, <clears throat> and I'd give it to him and say, here you go. And I'd always tell him, I said, this is pirate ill-gotten gain. Do not say where you got it, because I will deny or know you. Don't say it. They better not get it back to me. And they'd go, oh, okay. Little kids would be like, oh, okay. And they'd take the coin, and then one of our pirate crew would go up to him and say, Hey, where'd you get that coin? They said, oh, a pirate gave it to me. He'd go, can I see it? And they'd give it to him, and the pirate said, yeah, well, it's mine now. And he, like that, turns back, and the little kids would sit there like they're ready to cry. And usually the parents say, well, hey, man, they told you not to do that. Don't give it. And then they'd always give it back to him. They weren't being mean to him. But then so they'd say, don't tell a pirate where you got it. Don't show a pirate. And the little girl, this little girl got it one time, and, and I gave her, said, don't ever tell anybody where you got this coin. That's pirate you've got in game. And then one of the pirate guys go, hey, can I see that? And she started to give it to us. I said, don't, what did I just tell you? No, no, you can't see it. And they run around with their coin and stuff. So we would have a good time interacting with the people. Um, and that's one of the things I miss. It was a really cool pillory that one of our crew members built for us. And, and they put their heads in there and they lock them in. And, and, and they really felt like, yeah, they take pictures. And it's a really cool thing. And then we'd all take pictures with them like we were going to kill them and everything else. So that was one thing I missed the most about when we were part of a crew. And I i mean, my thing is, I got along with everybody. I don't know if they didn't get along with me or whatever. And I, I love the whole crew and, and really miss those days and wish that we could have been, I don't know what the whole falling out was about or nothing like that. But there was a mutiny and the crew kind of broke up. And we then we went rogue. We went rogue. Ran some of the crew members said, now we're going rogue. We're not part of a crew. We're just out there roguing it. So we thought that would be a cool thing. Where me and the wife just started roguing it. That's why we wound up in, in Oregon. So we wouldn't have to deal with the politics and stuff. But uh, hey, that's the story of the pillory and, and the crew we used to be with. Uh, please subscribe, share, like, thumbs up, post a comment. And uh, let me know if you like more videos like this. Thank you very much.